Hey, what's happening, guys? It's Nate from Player Court. Today, super excited to share uh, what I believe is the number one strategy, the, the number one mistake we're making in our single strategy. Um, and this is really at every level, but let's jump into the, the right-hand side. We're, we're taking a look at Matteo Berrettini and Felix Algier Alizim. Biggest mistake I'll make is trying to pronounce his names right. But let's let this point play. And then we'll talk specifics here in just a moment. So here, Felix trying to isolate the Berrettini back in. And then the fatal mistake. All right, so let's pause it there and let's talk about what's happening. All right, and I'll, I'll address this from several skill levels. All right, so here... We can see, I mean, this is as far over on the inside out as you can possibly be. This is from the single sideline, really working on exposing that backhand. And he has to hit this extremely well because if he doesn't, this entire sector of the court is open over here. But because he knows that Berrettini often chips from that outer thirds, he feels relatively safe. But here's the mistake. All right, so from this position, Felix does get his foot up to the baseline but he's still pretty deep here on this particular ball. But the mistake that he's making is that he's attacking from a 70-30 position. And what that means is that 70% of the court is available. 30% of the court is, is where he's standing, where he's in the best position to hit from. All right. And so at a 3-5 level, maybe, you know, like a recreational level, maybe four over low, this guy has a really weak backhand. You can kind of get away with this. Like you can keep pelting shots over here because you're not worried about them attacking their backhand and exposing you down the line. But as we get better, these backhands don't have to be fen phenomenal in order to beat you. A chip down the line could even do the job here. All right, so as Felix takes this ball and he moves in, when he hits his split step right here, that's a split. Look how much court is open at least 50%, right? And he's got Mateo off the court, which means that he has plenty of time to get this ball back down the line. I, I believe Felix probably thought he was going to chip again and he was sneaking in, and then he's getting passed. All right, so let's back it up. All right, so, and we're talking about the best in the world. If it's not working for the best in the world, then it, it's, you know, for us mere mortals, we got to think of a better strategy. So, in this position, a better play, if he wanted to come in and stay aggressive, is just to focus on depth and isolating more towards the middle. All right, Because even if it, if it gives Mateo a forehand with the ball super deep, it's going to take his timing away, but it's also going to inhibit his ability to spread the angle. All right? So from here, he's only going to be able to play the ball back through this sector of the court. And that's a safer shot. So the battering ram deep through the middle of the court probably would have been the play here, but I, I get it. You know, I think maybe Felix didn't hit this ball quite as well, and he was a little late second-guessing what he was doing as far as moving in. All right, so same match. Let's take a look here at what's happening with Felix and Mateo on this point. All right, same thing again here, right? The, I mean, the, the Berrettini forehand is just huge. Gets a short reply, but he works all the way over. And this is, I mean, this is probably past that 70-30. He's probably a little bit closer to an 80-20 here. And, and Felix holds here. He's kind of daring him to play this ball out into the open court because he knows it's going to open up the court. All right, so as Berrettini steps in, a little karaoke step there. Maybe he gets a little bit of a bad bounce, but he just doesn't get the depth. But look at where the ball is when it bounces and where Berrettini is. So this is a world of hurt because Felix can easily go down the line. He can play back behind him. He's just too far out of position to be playing this ball. And then again, another bunt backhand right down the line and the easy pass of Berrettini completely stretched out. All right, so again, what would I advise? 
in, in here, let's let's be honest. These guys probably hit winners. I don't Berrettini at least. You know how many forehand winners did the guy have? Um, it's just if you're in this position, this is what I want to make clear. If you're attacking from this position with your forehand, it has to be a winner. All right, at the very least, it has to be a forced error. All right, you don't want the ball coming back if you're attacking all the way over from this position on the court. Now moving in isn't a bad tactic. But again, if he was going to move in, focusing on the depth and putting this ball really deep in the court is going to take away the angle, and then he can get in a little bit tighter and play another volley and improve that position. All right, so the big no-no, guys, boys and girls, is is attacking from this 70-30 split here. All right, let me get these lines off. So this 70-30, getting all the way out here, if you're going to do this, it needs to be a winner or a force error. All right. If you find yourself in this position, you still really want it to be a forehand, and you know that the ball is short enough that it's pulling you in. The previous one that we saw with Mateo wasn't short enough, but here, Mateo really needs to kind of go in because of his position and play the ball deep middle. All right. Um, but otherwise, just keep working the point. You don't have to hit a winner on that, uh, you know, that particular ball. You can, you can really work positioning and getting easier ball to attack. All right, guys, thank you so so much for watching. Uh, really appreciate it. If you liked the video, hit like, uh, s- subscribe. It helps us so much. And um, left your goodie down below, the single strategy and tactics course. Give that a, a look. It's totally free, guys. Um, so hope you check it out. Hope you enjoy it. We'll see you here soon.